Recently, I had the opportunity to spend some time in a blacksmith's village on the outskirts of Hanoi, learning the art of knife making that has been passed down through a family of blacksmiths for generations. I started by picking out a model of knife I wanted to make, and then the blacksmith showed me how to design the correct shape of the blade. We started by heating up the metal until it turned red hot, and then we used tools to hammer out the initial shape. While I didn't speak the same language as the blacksmith, through demonstration and guidance and a whole lot of patience on his part, I slowly learned how to correctly heat, hammer, and shape my blade. We repeated this process multiple times, heating, hammering, flattening, shaping over and over again until I had the perfect blade shape. My favorite part of making the knife was using this machine to smooth and sharpen the blade. While it might seem corny or a little silly, this step reminded me that I am powerful and strong and I can do anything that I set my mind to. Using this machine made me feel like a total badass. When I was a kid, my dad would spend summer evenings whittling out back while drinking a beer. He said he found it peaceful and relaxing, but after spending a long time whittling a block of wood down to form a handle of a knife, all I felt was the pain from all the blisters on my hands. However, each of these blisters was a souvenir reminding me that hard work can create beautiful things. My final step was heating the blade one last time and hammering it into the handle to fuse the two together. And the outcome? It was my own knife that I made by myself. It might seem silly, but learning to do this empowered me to keep learning and pushing myself to experience new things. Because that's the thing, when you expand your boundaries, you become a better, stronger person. Until the next adventure, guys. Bye.